Hi, this video is about melamine foam woo, and laminates. Yeah, uh, I think most of you know what melamine foam is, even if you don't know the name. It's kind of a white spongy material, feels like plastic, and it's better than a sponge. It holds its shape a long time. It holds water really well too. In fact, I'd say it holds water too well. So today, when we talk about melamine foam, think about it just using it dry. Laminates, well, that's the plastic coating you have for paper. It keeps things looking nice, keeps them strong so you can hold things up over time. And there is a great combination of these two materials that you can use in the classroom. Me, I need to show students what to do without telling them what to do. I, I do a lot of demonstrations. Here's a game board we have for a lesson called Chaos. And uh, it's kind of a, an academic menu where you choose what you want to do. In this case, there's three points of difficulty and three categories. Lessons where you cooperate, where you have to show a feeling, and listening to others. And instead of like saying each one, we'll demonstrate it. Okay guys, I need you to tell me 10 countries. And I'll walk over to a group, maybe group one, it's got the team members' names here, and they'll tell me, okay, Japan, Brazil, France, China, so on, and I'll put a big happy face on there. Whatever I need to do, and great, they can see it clearly because it's exactly the same material they'll be using. Um, it holds up straight. This is an A3 paper and I can hold it classroom. It doesn't bend or fold. It's quite strong because of the plastic. And it has what I need in high contrast. If I made a mistake, and this happens, and I need to erase quickly, well I can. That's faster than pencil. That's faster than a marker. So let's go a little bit further with this. When I have my laminate sheets, I'm using the actual materials they're using. Uh, there's no difference between what I use in demonstration and what they receive it in their class other than minus plastic around it. Let's say I'm, I'm in a rush and I've got to do things quickly and I make a mistake. Okay, which one do I like? Soccer or tennis? Do I like baseball or soccer? Oh man, I just screwed up. It's okay guys, it's okay. Sorry, not two sports, tell me a subject. Oh, do I like science or math? See, I can make mistakes on the fly and not ruin paper. If this was paper and I was using marker, I'd have to grab a whole new sheet. That's time wasted and those mistakes do happen. When I have this, it's no problem. But wait a second, what if my school's not really well equipped? Or what if I'm just not thinking and I accidentally use an oil-based marker on my laminate? Oh no! Well, that's not really a problem. Even if it's caked on, you can walk back with your melamine foam eraser and get that off. It takes a few more seconds to get the oil off, but I mean, we're, we're not really having a problem. Get that a little more clean there. So that's what I like about this. It is really fast, really resistant, and when you're in front of students, time is important. Now, there's one more thing that's really important. Remember we saw this? I said this is a demonstration. This is a real worksheet given to students. I don't have much budget for color printing, but I like students to see nice things. So this is actually used by students. This sheet right here has been used no less than I would say 12 to 13, 14 times. I had classes last year, classes this year. It's two years old. So because it's so strong, it holds up longer. Because it holds up longer, I can afford to use nice color. And because it does both those things, it looks nice, it feels nice, and I can use it again and again and again for years. This has been Melamine Foam and Laminates, and I hope you learned something today. Thank you.